Hello, I thought I'd show you how to uh, go through the quick start for the DE10 Nano board. Um, I'm going to be setting it up using Linux on a VM. So if, uh, if this is the type of setup you're interested in, you've come to the right video. So the first thing you need to do is, uh, and it should have already been installed on your system, is put the micro SD card into the uh, micro SD slot. That card actually has a mini Linux on it, and uh, that would be, you know, convenient to, uh, uh, to, to, to boot up and have a look at some of the demo stuff that's available on the board. So the next thing I found uh, a bit of a surprise was these configuration the FPGA configuration switches on the uh, DE10 nano board. If you uh, look at closely on the board itself, you'll see uh, it's labeled switch 10, SW10, and there is a zero and a one uh, on the board. But also it says uh, where on the zero side, it says on. I'm not sure if it's saying on or if it's saying something else there, but I found that a bit confusing. So I'm going to tell you what the switches should be. They should be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And the last switch doesn't matter, but I've set it to 0. Or if you prefer using the on-off uh, designator, it should be on, off, on, off, on, on. Once you've had the uh, switch set up, the next thing you need to do is apply power to your board. So find your, uh, your power supply and plug it on in. Now you should see after about 10 seconds the flashing user switch, a flashing user LED, let you know that Linux is actually up and running. And the other flashing LEDs, I believe is a self-test on the process, but I'm not 100% sure. It flashes each LED once, uh, and I think that's just to let you know that all the LEDs are working. Next thing you need to do is install your USB micro micro USB connector, which is farthest away from the um, from the Ethernet cable. Plug that in. Now, if you're using um, a virtual machine you'll need to grab the device and it'll show up as the Linux Foundation multifunction composite gadget if you need to connect to it. That'll disconnect the oh. device from uh, the Windows machine or whatever machine you're deciding to uh, run this on and connect it to the virtual machine. What that will also do is set up a, a uh, Ethernet to USB connection, and you see here it says uh, connection established, and I'll also connect the uh, the SD card. So if we open up the SD volume, you'll see uh, start the HTML. Double click on that, and that'll bring up your favorite browser. This will provide you some documentation as to how to uh, use the, the device. It'll also show you how to connect this device if you want to do it on a Windows machine. On a Windows machine, the uh, Ethernet over USB is not enabled by default. You have to install a particular driver, and that's described here. But since we're doing this from the Unix machine, uh, 
now the only thing we need to do is connect to the web server that is actually running now on the on the little Unix machine on this FPGA board. Finally, let's confirm that the, the actual board is working properly. So we'll go to the play section, click on blink the LEDs, and now I'm going to turn on all the LEDs. I'll turn them off. Let's blink those LEDs. Finally turn them off again. Okay, we've confirmed our FPGA board is working properly. Let's uh, leave the next part where we're learning to actually do some development on the machine for the next video.